Brianna Randall Fraser's time traveling journey has not been an easy one, to say the least. From starting out in the mountains, spraining her ankle, landing in Larry's house, marrying and breaking up with Roger McKenzie, encountering the villain Stephen Bonnet and getting raped by him. It's a breathless moment to even name Bree's adversities throughout this season but the upcoming episode titled The Bird and the Bees, promises to bestow some silver lining on our new time-traveled lass. The promo itself promises that Brianna will reunite with her mother, Claire Fraser and get to know her biological father, Jamie Fraser. The purpose of her visit to the 18th century from the 20th century was to warn her parents about their death which she finds mentioned in the Wilmington obituary in the 20th century. The cause of death being a fire in the Fraser's Ridge, and as said by Jamie in the promo trailer that there hasn't been any luck in changing the course of history despite time traveling, we guess Brianna has broken the news to them. However, book readers of the Outlander series have warned non-book readers that Brianna's journey isn't going to get any easier. We will be seeing her traumatic ordeal as she struggles with the aftermath of the incident. Withholding the information from her parents will definitely consume her. Her happiness won't last, she does not want to be touched, and she will be pregnant. And because the horrifying incident took place the same night she exchanged vows with Roger and lost her virginity to him, the child in Brianna may or may not be Roger's. When Brianna set sail to time travel through the stones of Craig Nodun, she was prepared with her 18th century outfit, a map of Scotland and a peanut butter jelly bread. So it was quite evident that she was not planning on staying in the 18th century after warning her parents about their death which was bound to take place in the 1700s something, because the last two digits were smudged in the obituary date line. Added to that, she had also left a letter to Roger, which was supposed to be handed out a year later after her journey just so he could get the closure if she wouldn't make it back by then. Now that a lot has happened to Brianna, and Roger has only proved to be a chauvinistic pig, especially after telling her that he owns her after the hand-fasting ceremony, Brianna may not have anything to go back to. Her beloved father, Frank Randall is dead, her boyfriend has pursued her through the stones but has a crooked mentality on marriage and sex, while her mother and biological father are in the 18th century. The bigger question is will she go back to the 20th century where she was born or will she choose to live in the 18th century with her family? The even bigger question is if she will get trapped in the 18th century because of what has happened to her. Her pregnancy with Stephen Bonnet's child will not be welcome news to Roger, who already said out loud that he wanted to marry a virgin. If Brianna chooses to stay, she will have a blissful family life, minus Roger, at Fraser's Ridge. But note when growing up she was a spoiled brat, so she may not be able to live the hard knock life of the 18th century, which comes without even a telephone. If she goes back to the 20th century, she may not have anything to go back to. Times have been hard for Brianna, but there's an assurance in the fact that she is reunited with her loving parents. Stars' Outlander has deviated from Diana Gabaldon's book quite a few times so fans are hoping that Brianna's fate will be better than what has been penned. Hopefully, there's hope.